Hey everyone, it's your girl Alicia. Welcome back to my guide. I hope you're all doing well. So I was thinking, there's so many things I do on the regular to save me time, money, just make my life easier. So why not put them into one video and call them life hacks? Here you go, these are my life hacks. If you really enjoy this video, hit the like button. I might do a part two, because I have a lot of these. And let me know down below which one you're most likely to try out first. Lego. Starting off with my favorite hack first, this is my candle trick. I hope you like it. If your candles burn a little awkwardly like this, what you're gonna do is carefully carve out your spency wax. We're only doing this because it's expensive. We're gonna fit that into a glass container that can fit into another container that we can put boiling water around. As it melts, we're going to slowly pour some of the candle wax around the wick, allowing it to dry between layers so that it can end up being flush when you're finished. And then voila, you have a brand new looking candle. Watch as a blind girl struggles to find the wick. But look at the trick, it's lit. And just be careful this time around to allow it to burn to the edges so that it doesn't happen again. If you ain't got time like that, but you still wanna save your candle, take a set of pliers and just pull out the wick. Then take a tea light, one that can come out of its aluminum tray easily, and the wick out of the candle easily. You're gonna pop that back in like nothing happened. And no one will be the wiser. It doesn't look as good as 1.1, but 1.2 still works. So let me know which one you're gonna try. There, $20 candles saved for the day. This next hack is for those of you who like to have jars on jars on jars for whatever reason I do. So what you're gonna do is take your old pasta jars, whatever jars, and take as much of the label off as you can. Once you've done that, you're gonna take your cheap oil, cause it, we don't need this mess of stuff. You're gonna gently rub the paper towel around the label, loosening it up, and then you're gonna wrap it around the jar and let it set. Three minutes is good. After that, you're gonna use the same paper towel to loosen up the glue particles, scrub a little bit. Once you feel like you've done the most, then you're gonna take a sponge and scrub the corners. They tend to be a little tricky. Just needs a good rinse. And once you've done that, air dry or towel dry and voila. You got a cute little mason jar that you can store coffee beans, spices. In my case, I like holding and separating my nets in. Next hack piggybacks off the last one. If you want to label your jars, but you're afraid of commitment like the guys on Hinge, don't you worry. Go ahead with your Sharpie. As long as it's glass, you're Gucci. You're going to take some acetone nail polish remover. It has to be a high concentration of acetone to work. Put it on a cotton pad and swipe. It comes off so easily. It's like the kryptonite for Sharpies. This one is for those of you who are into essential oils like me, but have a tendency to use a lot of different ones and then you end up clogging up your diffuser or you just don't like the vibe that 95 different scents give. Take a little bit of rubbing alcohol in a cotton pad and wipe the inside very, very well, including the top. Let it dry, it takes about five seconds. When you're ready to unwind next time, it's the same old routine. Just add your water, your essential oil drops, pop your lid on and relax. It's like brand new again. Hack five is clutch when you're in a bind and you've run out of Mario Badescu drying lotion. Take some rubbing alcohol, preferably benzoyl peroxide, and dab, dab, dab. Only do this at night. My last hack is for my Life Legally Blind fam. I suggest labeling everything, so whether you need to zoom in with your phone or any other device, find the expiration date, which can be a little tricky, take a Sharpie and label it larger. That way you'll know that things like these eggs were expired two days ago. I also found during my spring cleaning video that this was expired last year, so it's a very, very helpful hack. But this one, this one can stay. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, let me know by hitting the like button, and until next time, love and later.